Well, back to wiring. Sorry I didn't uh, film any of this. I just kind of got lost in it, but I ended up putting one. Put, we're going to do this kind of external conduit look. Kind of industrial look down here, and I'm going to put one here. Then I'm going to run another one off there. And then one over here above the above the couch. And so that should take care of the lower the lower room, the main room lighting. And then of course up in the peak I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna have another piece of conduit. I already have that stubbed in. I don't know. It might be too dark up here. I'll climb up here and take a look. I also did some did a bunch of wiring today. That's all I really did. It took a while to tell you that right now. So I got my outlets in up here in the loft. Same symmetrical. One over there on the right, one over there on the left. <clears throat> Above that I have a switch. And then I have the another box for the conduit that I'm gonna run all the way along here. I think I'm gonna put about three lights up here. One kind of in the center of the loft, one right here kind of meeting the edge of it, and then one sort of next to the stove going down. I don't know if that's gonna cast a weird shadow, but it shouldn't. You know, get get kind of so like a more of a dispersed light looking thing. But yeah, basically the same thing is I'm gonna have just metal conduit. Wait, is there something flying around in there? How is that happening? Anyways, I have some metal. It's just some some steel conduit going in there. Then that switch right there. I actually figured out how to do a three-way switch. So uh, there's a a switch down in the right by the door, the entrance, um, and it's on a three-way switch as well. So there's two switches downstairs. It took a while to figure out. You know, I don't do electrical, so it took me quite a while to kind of look it all up and figure out how to do it. But basically, you got that switch up there, and then there's one, there's two of them down there. One of them's for the lower, the other one's for the upper. So the uh, thinking is that you'd turn the lower one on when you came in, and then if you want to turn the main lights on, the ones up here, you'd use the other, the three-way switch, and then you could theoretically shut off the bottom ones and then you'd still have the top ones climb up into the loft and then shut those off when you're ready to go to sleep so um, haven't tested them, I'm going to test them in a couple of days we're having Thanksgiving tomorrow so we won't be up which is unfortunate because it'd be fun to have Thanksgiving up here, it's just a little messy and maybe not enough kitchen space but you know, maybe next year or the year after but uh, yeah, I did a lot of wiring. I got all my switch wiring in. Yeah, the two outlets, this one, and so I think I'm gonna call it a day. And then I gotta, I still have to hook hook them all up to the box. And I think I'm gonna put all the lighting, just to keep it simple. It, you know, I didn't I didn't hook. I actually gave everything its own circuit. So it's kind of like, although you know, each light has its own. Well, be, the <clears throat> the lighting will be on its own circuit, and then all the outlets. This this half will be on one, and then this half over here will be on another one so I can actually branch off if I need to add some stuff so I just keep everything kind of simple and clean but that's really pretty much it for the for the wiring you know it ends over there and then I have ones that go all the way to this side so I'm pretty much covered the only thing I don't have is switches on this side to, to say control the lights but I don't I don't really care I mean it's not it's not a big cabin you can walk all the way over here 15 and a half feet and turn it on or off so what it does is it keeps all the wiring on one side and which will come in handy when I run the inverter and and uh, you know if you put solar panels and th I'm actually thinking that we're just going to do solar panels in this thing I mean the <clears throat> the, uh, the technology is there so um, I'll probably just in put a nice big inverter in here and plug that instead of having the generate well I'll have the generator um, as a backup but all these inverters now, they're they're super cool. They can switch between a a generator, turn the generator on automatically um, once your batteries get to a certain level, and then once they charge up, you know, or the solar panels charge them back up, then it flips back over to the inverter. So uh, just seamlessly. So I think I might even just put one of those in next year. I'm not going to worry about it this year. I can just run everything off of a generator. You know, I had that I had that little Honda running literally all day since probably nine o'clock, and it's three thirty it's I mean it's still going strong so you know I haven't put any gas in it it's been going good so I might just use for the time being it's not critical we'll, we could just run a generator and, and not have to worry about it 
Um, <clears throat> besides, I'm not really too keen on leaving batteries up here. You know, it's in the 20s and dips down into the teens at night. It just kill them unless I have some place to, to, uh, you know, keep them warm. You know, sort of warm. But uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. Looks like the sun just went behind the mountain. Look at that. How do you get better than that? That's a good day. Oh, it just went behind it. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Get that on film, huh? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Soak that in. Yep, I mean, this is super peaceful up here. Of course, I got my wood stove still going all day, and it's keeping me warm. Um, once I get done with the wiring, I can finish this insulation and it's going to stay so warm in here. You put a couple of pieces of wood in there and it'll just heat it up. But right now, half of it is uninsulated. So that should take care of all this, this wiring stuff. I'm, I'm going to do that, finish this up in a couple of days, and then I'll see how much more insulation I can do. I'm just going to do it. You know, I may leave this section open right there to put a doorway in. I'm going to frame in a doorway just in case we want to add another room onto this. You know, I'm kind of trying to think ahead. Um, to what we might need in the future, so I may put a little frame in a doorway, and that shouldn't take too long. Do it now. Um, and that's pretty much it.